Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing a Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale uh, model review. Uh, we haven't done a model review in quite a while, so yeah, but um, let me know. I'm, I know last time I said I'd do a poll, I forgot to put it up there. But this time I'm going to try my best to put a poll right up there. Just there. There should be a little tab or whatever you want to call it there. Um, so you guys can vote it to see if you want any more uh, model reviews because I'm not too sure. I know when I first started doing model reviews, some of them only got like 10 views, which is not what I want. But so if this video um, gets enough votes on the poll saying yes or more saying yes than no, then I will be sure to do some more model reviews. Of course, I won't be doing just model reviews. I might be doing like once a week, once every couple weeks. Um, reviewing some models and I'm just trying to come up with some new videos ideas but yep yeah. anyways without further ado let's go and let's get straight into the model review so today we're reviewing the Gemini Jets 100 scale Aeroflot Airbus A330 200 so I got this uh, model from eBay I think it was actually like three months ago maybe four months ago it was quite a while it was well, quite a few months ago now but yeah, so I got this model, I think it was around about like 60 United States dollars. Um, it was quite expensive, but it's an extremely rare model. So I'm very happy to have this for my Los Angeles and JFK airport. Um, I want to get the 777 for JFK, but I, that's also very rare, but I'm, so I'm not sure if I can get that. But yeah, so we're going to hop straight into the review now. We're going to move the model to the side and review the box. So right here. We have Gemini Jets, made for collectors, by collectors, um, computer generated image of the aircraft, Aeroflot logo, just the LSA 330 200. Look inside tab, one to front of scale, die cast model aircraft. Then inside the tab here we have Aeroflot LSA 330 200. Um, just some information about the A330. Then we have the registration. Victor, Papa, Bravo. Uh, what's L? I can't remember. Bravo or oh, Lima X-ray. And then that's where the model would normally be. Here's the here are the sides. Um, just the computer generated image. 330, 200, adult collectible model, same as the opposite side, that's where the price tag I believe was, now at the back of the um, box here we have the Aeroflot um, A330, 200 climbing, um, Gemini Jets, as well as it gets features, high collectible, new aircraft being added monthly, made in China, then you look little, I think a reusable logo or something. 2009 uh, Gemini Jets Las Vegas Nevada USA release. So that is the box of this model. Um, yeah, it's just a regular Gemini Jets box. So just here we have um, just the front here. I have to use my finger because I don't have a pen or anything. We have the nose cone of the aircraft. Looking very nice Gemini Jets. Um, windscreen wipers, I'm not sure if you can see that little line there. And then we have the cockpit windows, um, the name of the aircraft, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. That's the Russian flag, Sky Team logo. Um, again, I've been told this before, I think that's, that's the R1 door from memory, but I'm not 100% sure, so again, correct me on that if I'm wrong. Aeroflot Russian Airlines, Aeroflot little symbol logo there. Then we have the engines here, which I'm just going to check the box. And the engines seem to be Rolls Royce Trent 772Bs. There's two of them, one on this side, one on the other side, like most planes. Then we have just the wings and the nice winglets and everything. There's the back wing door. And then at the back of the plane here, we have the uh, tail of the aircraft, the little Russian flag thing on the Aeroflot for the Aeroflot logo. Looks very nice, I think. I do prefer the new livery though. Then we have MSA 330 just there. And registration. 
um, Victor, Papa, Bravo, Lima, X-Ray. And then we have the back door, the rear door, which I think is that's usually where they put the catering in. So we're going to flip the model over here and we're going to zoom out and have a look at the bottom and the details. So there's not, oh, for an old release, I think this model is very nice. Um, there's not a whole lot of detail on the bottom, but that wouldn't be expected for 2009 release. Also, um, I did want to point out, actually, um, I'm just going to put this model down there. There's the Gemini Jets logo and everything. I think, yeah. um, so, quickly before I end this video, um, I wanted to let you know just kind of some news about like what the future of my channel is going to look like. Um, I just due to the pandemic, I was recently doing a lot of unboxings. I think most of them were pre-recorded from June or late May, but I have not um, received a model. I think in a few weeks now, so I will not be posting as many of those. I just have one more pre-recorded unboxing from a few weeks ago. But yeah, so there won't be too many of those. However, I do have some exciting models on the way, but they'll still be take a while and also I've decided I haven't got any NG models yet and a lot of you said that they're pretty good until I saw Gemini Jets 13 video earlier today um yeah you guys can go check that out about that broken jet blue model if you like if you would like to he's a very good youtuber and he's very inspiring um but he um, I was thinking about it, and I've also seen the new NG Models releases, and I really, really badly need the Spirit Airlines model. And NG Models have done it. They released the Spirit Airlines Airbus A321 just in the plane livery, and um, yeah, so I can, even though it's quite expensive, Gemini Jets, you have not released that in ages, and it's so hard to get. I don't even know that they've released the A321. And the A319, I've found it on eBay and it's like 89, I think it's like $90. That's the United States dollar like usual. But yeah, so I'm considering getting the Spirit MS A321. That'll be in a bit of a while, but in a few in a month or two time, you can expect it. My first NG models unboxing. But yeah, so without further ado here now, I'm going to end this video. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, again, vote on that poll, please, so you can let me know if you want any more unboxing. Uh, not unboxing, a uh, model reviews. But yeah, so I have nothing else more to say. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all for watching, as I said. Um, make sure to stay safe at home, and I'll see you in my next video.